Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Jasmine, aka Budget Treasures, and on today's video, we're going to be stuffing cash envelopes with the lowest amount of money ever, okay? Listen, <laughs> but I wasn't going to do the video, but I decided to do the video for a purpose and if you are new here I talk about money I talk about budgeting I talk about saving money um, side hustles and then also brand new home ownership and if you are here again hey girl so happy that you came back to see me I have been missing for a little bit um, so before I get into telling you guys why I'm going to do the video anyway, um, yes, I have been missing a little bit. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. Um, I have been, you know, knee deep in orders. <laughs> I am trying to get these orders out to you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who supported the last weekend that I was open um, in my Etsy shop. A lot of you guys bought envelopes and I am currently still working to get those out. Um, I got way more orders than I even imagined. So I'm still working on them. I even had to hire some help. <laughs> so just know that they're coming. I decided to do this video because I always do cash stuffings. But let me tell you why I'm stuffing a low amount of money but wait hold on let me back up the last video that I did which was the homework series you guys had me crying with your responses again I was like a crybaby again I want to let you guys know that I did read each and every single um comment that was on that video and I tried to respond to everybody you guys know that I have a um you guys know that I have a reputation of responding to everyone and I was trying to um, but I wasn't able to get back to everyone but I did read each and every person's comment and thank you so much for being so understanding you guys are like the amazing like I cannot give up this community you guys are the bomb.com and I love you guys I love you so much um, I really think that you know you guys are it that's just you know you guys are it and so thank you I am gonna try to go back and at least like every comment but it was it was like a hundred and eighty comments it was like almost 200 or something like that and so it was kind of hard to try to respond to every single person I hope my hands aren't ashy they probably are but in, oh, I put on these nails y'all because I had to try to make my hands look like something I have never worn nails like this before and they are absolutely ugly but we're gonna keep it moving okay so um yes I am only stuffing $131 today okay the reason why I decided to stuff my cash envelopes anyway is because I want to show you guys whenever you get in a situation where you have to make your money stretch i want to show you how to do that so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the video this is my wallet this is a filofax wallet this is the wallet that i use to um you know use to go outside i do want to show off my wallet charms from my girl all dialed up by sanai these are so cute so i think i've showed you guys these before but what i did want to do was show you my new ones you guys so this is my a7 um cash envelope or sorry this is my a7 cash binder that i created and i do sell this in my etsy shop it's the cutest little binder and look at my newest baby isn't she so pretty all dived up by Sana, you did this and what I so if you guys haven't seen um it has a a7 zipper binders that you're able to use and I've had a lot of people to buy this binder it actually sold out the last time the shop was open and it's just super cute super cute so whenever you have your purse you're like a small purse and you want to travel um, I really like it because it has the zipper and it makes it less likely for your cash to fall out. Like I had created this one and I was going to offer this one at one point, but then I decided not to. So I just have it in there because it's cute. But this is so cute. So I'm actually not stuffing this envelope today. I just wanted to show you that wallet charm by 
all the all, all dolled up by Sanai. Sanai. I just wanted to show you that. And so it's super cute. It's the cutest little thingy. Alright, now let's get to business. Let's get to taking care of some business. So normally what I would do is I would take the cash out. But let's count what we have. Oh, I finally got my stimulus check money too. So we finally got that money. That came late. So that's this. So let me count all of the money. So we're actually stuffing a little bit more than $130. But we'll talk about that, okay? We will talk about why and what I'm doing with it. I didn't change my money around before this video. I'm sorry. I'm wasting y'all time. I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me. They gave me some fresh $100 bills. All right. So, let's count all the money that we will be stuffing today. And then we will move forward. All right. So, we got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 640, 660, 670, 680, 690, 700, 710, 715, 720, 725, 730, 731, okay? So we are gonna put the $100 bills here. The 20s here. The 10s here the fives here and then the ones here so i know that i said we were only stuffing 131 dollars and then i come here with 600 dollars. i am going to tell you what this is for okay let's move forward so normally um if you guys have been here before um you know if you haven't been here before normally what i would do is i would take the money that i have left over i would put it to the side and i will put this money in my leftover envelope however because at this moment i am really watching my spending and i am not uh really taking much money out of the bank i am just going to add to what i already have so usually i take 50 dollars out for groceries or actually, usually I take $150 out for groceries. And today, I'm only going to be taking $20 out for groceries. And that is going to add to the $10, okay? So $20, $40, $50 $10 for groceries. So then allowance, um, what I have left in here is a total of $10. So remember, I am doing the $5 challenge. So for the purpose of keeping steady with that, I'm gonna put this to the side, and then I am only going to add $20 for allowance. So next we're at eating out, and I still have the $50 from eating out because I did not eat out. So I'm actually going to just keep that money in here, and then we're gonna roll over. So the $5 challenge, currently I have $5 in here. I'm gonna add this $10 bill. And then we, not $10 bill, but $10 and fives. And then we're going to transfer that over. We're going to transfer the $1 bills over. Okay. So toiletries, we are going to put $10 in toiletries. 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have $40 in toiletries. And that is it for this wallet that I take with me on the go. So next, we're gonna break out our sinking funds wallet. Giving did not receive anything this time. Support is not gonna receive anything at this time. Medical, I probably should have added something to medical actually now that I'm looking at it, but let's see what we have in here. 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have $40 in medical, which should be okay next time i will add something to medical but this time i did not add anything insurance i am going to add to insurance i'm going to add 15 dollars to insurance and the reason why i'm adding to insurance is because 
my car insurance is going to be due and I really do need to have the money to pay for that car insurance. Here in California, I'm not sure if it's in every other state, but here in California, if you do not have car insurance, your car tags are suspended and I can't have that. And I also don't want to come up with a whole bunch of money at one time to pay for my insurance. <clears throat> so currently we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, $70 in here. That is the reason why I decided to still stuff the insurance envelope. Next is car registration. I did decide to stuff the car registration envelope as well. And same thing here. You don't have a choice to pay your car registration, especially here in California. They play no games with you or me. <laughs> so let's see here. So this is $15 we're adding. So let's count and see what we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. We have $70 here as well. All right. Let's move on and see what else I decided not to stuff because of the situation that I'm in. Auto care. This already has. $390 so I think we're good here to skip hair you know I'm just gonna have to figure it out on my own um, I did buy a wig you guys I bought a Julia wig and I think that it's so cute and so once I take my braids out I'm gonna be wearing a wig currently I have $60 in here so this you know this hair is not a priority even if I had to I would have to wear a ponytail Clothes, not a priority right now. Currently in here, I have $290. And so we are just gonna keep this in here and it's not a priority right now. Let's keep on moving. Holidays, not a priority right now. Uh, let's see what we have. We have $40 in here. Right now, holidays is not a priority. Uh, birthdays, definitely not a priority. And we have $0 beauty counter not a priority right now this is basically shopping this is $26 um, not a priority planner bay not a priority car wash I already have money in here I have 35 bucks but it's not a priority right now nails <laughs> I really do want my nails done so bad you guys like so bad um, six, my tech envelope has six bucks in there not a priority it will be though and investing is a priority but right now it's not and I have six dollars in here so I am gonna need this bank deposit envelope so let me take this out so as you can see I only stuffed $30 in here now yes I do know that I have stuffed other envelopes but if you don't have it, just stuff what you have. I stuffed $30, you guys, 30 bucks. All right, so this is my savings challenge envelope. And let me show you how we gonna stuff this one. All right, so the $1 challenge, we're gonna take the $1 bills that we had saved from the past last couple weeks I did not spend a lot of money at all as you can see and guess what guys it's three dollars okay listen I need you guys to understand it's not about what you save it is about the behavior okay the five dollar challenge let's see how much we got out of the five dollar challenge this last couple of weeks five ten fifteen twenty dollars you guys 20 bucks we're gonna add this in here I'm not gonna count it I'm not gonna count it until the quarter closes the 12 month uh, challenge I'm gonna add ten dollars in here this is putting me behind I actually should be adding more but it's okay um, I we, we just can't do it right now I could only add 10 but we got $20 saved okay 
Um, next is the paycheck challenge and I'm only gonna put ten dollars in here remember I said I was gonna be saving a hundred dollars a paycheck well right now that hundred dollars has to stay put because I am making a down payment of 20% on my home so think about how much that is so right now this is getting ten dollars <laughs> okay so we have 20 40 60 80 110 dollars all right and I probably should be adding this I didn't add it let me add 10 bucks well I actually didn't want to add it because I want to calculate this during the quarter so you guys can see how much I saved um, so I probably will stop writing that down all right, next is the leftover. Um, we don't have any leftover to put in here this time. And then the savings challenge, you guys, I finally got my savings challenge envelope from Pink Budgets. So she had asked me to, you know, if I wanted to join this with her and I told her, yes, of course, of course. And so, now I'm late, right? I was supposed to save, I think I was supposed to save one of these per week, but because of what's going on right now with me and my house and stuff, I'm only gonna save $25 this week. So what I am going to do is I am gonna catch up, okay? Once this is all over and I close on the house, I am going to catch up. But for right now, I do want to continue with the, um, I do want to continue with the behavior and just save something. So I'm going to do $25. So that's a 20 and a five here. Bam, $25. I'm gonna catch up with you pink. I'm gonna catch up with you, trust me. <laughs> and then I do have, oops. Actually, let me go back to the $5 challenge. So the $5 challenge, I'm gonna put this five in here. I forgot that I had to add this. And then I am going to add the $1 in the $1 challenge here. So that's all that I'm stuffing for my savings challenges. Now, so this is the $600 that I finally got from um, the impact payment, the stimulus check. And I thought I was gonna get another 600 from my daughter, but I guess not putting this into the account that I will be using to um, wire the money over for my closing cost and all that stuff so this is 600 bucks one two three four five six so I'm gonna be taking this putting it in my bank deposit I had to take they had sent me a card I don't know if you guys had got that too they sent me a card and I had to go get the money taken off of the card and then I'm gonna transfer this to the correct bank account I'm going to go ahead and now start working on these envelopes. So I will see you in the next video. Go be great. Peace out.